Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar. And I'm at home. I got off work uh, like 15, 20 minutes ago, I guess. No more than 30 minutes ago. But I'm sitting outside. It's the last time I'm going to try to do this video again because I feel like my videos have been way too long. And I'm trying to chop them down a whole lot. Um, I don't want to overdo things and just make y'all just be like girl get to the point i can't help it like it's just so many other things that have happened in my life that have made me this way but i'm trying to kind of break that break myself out of that cycle and that habit anyway let me start trying to tell y'all about some of the things that have been going on because i'm not gonna be able to get everything into this video so as y'all pretty much have been able to see and pick up on y'all have not seen me upload anything um I'm really behind. I'm starting to get really behind on things, and I don't like that. So over the course of, like, last week, I've been in my feelings, and so um been sad. And I've been trying to pull myself up out of it, and so since I've been really sad, I've just, like, and I really, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I really didn't even acknowledge how sad I was or that I was sad until yesterday. And it's like I just kept trying to tell myself, oh, you're not sad, you're not sad, you know, saying it to myself. And then one of the people that I had been talking with um, over the last few days, they, you know, were talking to me and they asked me, how was I doing at one point in time in the conversation? I was like, I'm actually sad. And like I told y'all before, I've gotten to a place where I'm not going to lie anymore about how I'm feeling or anything like that. Like if I don't like something, I'm telling somebody I don't like it. If I'm sad, I'm going to say, yes, I'm sad. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm good, just to, you know, have a generic response to somebody asking me how I'm doing. <sighs> Don't know if I told y'all this or not, but the woman who did my physical therapy at work, she asked me one day, how was I doing? And I don't know what in the world possessed me to not just straight up lie to her and tell her, I'm I'm good, how you doing? Like, I told her, I'm not, not, not good, to be honest. And, like, she really stood there and talked to me and let me know that she's not just a nurse and that her door is open and it would be confidential if she ever if I ever wanted to come to her and talk to her so you know that made me feel really really good like she she sets it off for me she makes a point anytime that she is there and I'm there she talks to me she speaks at the bare minimum she will speak to me and say hey how you doing how your hand doing always still checking on my hand y'all so um yeah so yeah anyway um i'm trying to figure out where i should go next because it, it's just so many different things let me tell y'all about the foolishness first to get that out of the way so i could just hopefully get to a better place where i will start to smile genuinely so i came in and i was like okay let me get myself together got my stuff and went to the new department because that's where i'm scheduled to be pretty much all week unless they randomly change it i hope they don't they be getting on my nerves. They be doing the most. They be expecting miracles and things upstairs now. Like, they be doing the most. So, I went back there. I end up, you know, I start working. Doing what I'm supposed to do. So, I needed to make sure that I got a correction form to the supervisor. I thought my supervisor was there. Now, I'm glad I didn't get on the radio because he wasn't there. So, I went to the office where all of like the supervisors and all of them sit or whatever. And so the supervisor that I saw on duty was the side heifer uh, supervisor. So he was in there working on something on the computer and I, I uh, opened the door and I waved and I said, good morning, all that stuff. You know, I told y'all he's really, really ple pleasant and all of that. You know, I ain't got no issues with him. I just wish that he would stand up to the side heifer. Like a lot of stuff would have been resolved way before now, but that's beside the point. We ain't talking about that right now. So I told him the situation, which is that my badge be doing the least sometimes, and I ain't got time for y'all to say that I was late, and y'all give me a half of an occurrence and all this other stuff. So they have forms for that. So I corrected everything. I just didn't want my supervisor, me, you know, of course, me thinking my supervisor was there. I didn't want him to come find me so that he can get that from me. Because the last time, that's exactly what I did. I uh, had the form already. I didn't have to go get it and all this other stuff. All he had to do was take the form and go put it in and he corrected it on the spot. So that's what he was going to do too. So anyway, I did that. So when I'm coming back from the office, I said, oh, well, let me go see my buddy over here. The guy who he'll do this and we talk to each other. He's the guy who he used to be in the life and all that stuff. He used to like do, like not do drugs. He used to sell drugs and run the streets and all this other stuff. But he, you know, turned his life around. 
he's the one who I told y'all about. Like he been going through his father passed away. I think his mom passed away. His wife got really, really sick like a couple of months ago. Like he been going all the way through this year. So I'm talking to him. I rolled up. I was like, oh, let me see if he over here. Like, it's still kind of early. It ain't, ain't nobody really breaking each other out yet for nothing. Let me see if he over here. So, he was over there in our department just doing what he does downstairs. So, I saw him. I rolled up. I hadn't seen him yet. So, I roll up and I look at him. And so, he just looking at me. I was like, are you okay? I I have this thing where if I look at you and you don't look right, I'm going to ask you if you're okay. And, like, I need to know because... I don't like when people aren't okay because it makes me not okay. I feel how you feel pretty much. Like it, it hurts me to see other people hurt, even if I don't know them. Like I, I wish I didn't have a heart sometimes because I really be like, dang, if I didn't care, then, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, Ooh, like, Lord, I don't even know if I'm gonna tell y'all about this one particular thing that popped off while I was off work, but well, not today. I don't know if I'm going to tell y'all today or not. I'm going to try to see how far along I can get in this video before I do that. So anyway, I'm talking to him. And so I'm looking at him and he didn't look right. And I was like, are you okay? So he just looked at me and I was like, what? Are you okay? And so he was like, well, yeah, I am now since you're over here. And so like he perked up, like he actually started smiling. I was like, oh, okay. So like you can't really get, he's the type of person that you, it's kind of hard to get a smile out of him, like a genuine smile. And so like he started smiling. I was like, oh, okay. So then we literally just start the conversation, right? Y'all, something told me to turn around. And I'm like, man, why did I even turn around? Y'all already know who it was. The married man was walking and he like walked through the door, this door that he has to go through that'll lead to where he gonna go, you know, where he gonna go work. So I don't know what it was. I just rolled my eyes as hard as I could. I just cannot. I just, the fact that you sitting up here, trying to make it seem like you and I have any type of a relationship outside of me saying, hey, back to you after you initiate communication with me. It, that's beyond me. I just cannot. Like, the, it's the audacity for me. Audacity is, an, is at an all-time high, and I am not here for it. And so he going to ask me, why you why you roll your eyes at that man like that? I said, now you know why I roll my eyes at him. You know why I roll my eyes at him. I don't appreciate that. I don't lie for nobody to lie on me. Don't lie on my box. Don't lie on my box, sir. I ain't been with none of y'all. Don't lie on my box. I, I cannot. My box done went through enough trauma in life. That's one thing I don't need you to do is to add more trauma to it. Don't do it. I'm sorry. I am not hard up. If I want it, I can get it from whoever I desire to get it from. Don't do it. Don't do this. So, like, I, I y'all, I'm still up here when it comes to that because I don't appreciate that. Like, you done did the most. You done did the most. The worst that has ever happened to me as far as somebody saying something about sexual, you know, situations happening between myself and them is them wishing that they could. Not you flat out lying, talking about me and you have an ongoing sexual relationship. You have lost your entire mind. And it be taking everything in me not to stomp him out. It be taking everything in me not to knock his block off. Like, I feel like he knows that this man came back to me and asked, despite him saying, oh, no, don't talk to her about it, da 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 He looked at him like, because I need to know what's going on here. Like, I'm going to ask her. Because I feel like she would want better for herself than that, than him. After dealing with that dusty heifer that he deal with, like, what is we talking about? So anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm giving you a cowardly line. I know. I, I know I'm giving you cowardly line. <laughs> Let me do it again. I know I'm giving y'all a cowardly line. <sighs> if I had a camera like this, it would have really been cowardly line. Let me calm down. So anyway, I told him, I was like, I ain't got time for it. So anyway, somebody ended up coming out of nowhere. And I was like, I'm not going to stick around. And then I went on about my business. I went back to my um the area that I was in today. So that happened. But, oh, like I was saying, I feel like he know. I feel like he knows that I know. So now I almost never see him. And I'm like, good. That's what I've been wanting you to do for the longest. But what I'm worried about is that he is still rolling up on the divorce man to ask about me. It, but I just don't understand. Why do you go out of your way to ask somebody who don't even work with us about me? Child. I, I just don't understand. 
So anyway, uh, moving right along. <sighs> we had an amazing day today. Um, working in the new department. I'm supposed to be back there all week, so hopefully it will continue to run smoothly. Um, y'all, I'm gonna have to do like two parts because one, I got to strictly focus on on a friend of mine. This person might not even be my friend no more after this. So I'm gonna finish this video off on a good note. So tell me why today I'm coming back. Well, no, 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 no. I'm on my last break and this new guy who does the same thing that I do, he is going back from his break. Hadn't seen him all day because I'm obviously nowhere near him. So I'm looking at my phone. We end up crossing paths. Whenever I don't look for him, that's when he pop up. Whenever I look for him, he ain't nowhere to be found, right? I, I don't know how that happens, but whatever. So I'm looking at my phone. So then we kind of like cross paths. And so he was like, hey, how you doing? Like, this man makes <laughs> it his business to touch me whenever he sees me. Now, it is the almost most non, <laughs> non-existent non touch, but he, he be like, hey, how you doing? Like, it be, he almost don't even touch me, but he do touch me. He reaches out to touch my shoulder or touch my hand or touch. It just be like, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. But anyway, this is the shy guy. Like, this is the, the quiet guy, all this stuff or whatever. So, like, he's been there for four months, including the training and all that stuff or whatever, right? So, he was like, good morning, how are you? I was like, I'm fine, how are you? He was like, I'm I'm doing well. Like, when he see me, he get the smiling big and everything. I'll be like, child, I don't know what I be doing to you, but I'll be a for it, because you be making my day. <laughs> he gets so happy, y'all. I It's obvious that he likes me. But I, I will keep y'all posted as to whether or not he actually tried to roll up in that regard. Because I was shocked that he even rolled up to introduce himself. For him to be like so, so shy and quiet or whatever, it takes a lot for somebody who is shy to, to do something like that. And he really is like quiet and shy or whatever. Like he will respond to you, but like people like that don't usually like, roll up like that like they'll have to muster up so much courage to do that so i was like okay then you done rolled up introduced yourself and shook my hand i was like wait a minute now <laughs> i'm still playing with him where i'll tell him that i don't trust him and that i'm gonna have to keep my eye on him because i don't know you coming up in here i mean y'all be the ones we gotta look out the quiet we gotta look out for the quiet ones because y'all be the ones that'll shoot it up so i still play with him it's like i, I think he knows that i'm playing with him and um like at first he he was like dang i don't know you know you told me not to trust you like he really went off somewhere else because <laughs> i was like why is he all the way down there <laughs> like this man was like forever away from all of us i was like he was all right at first and then like he just wasn't talking no more i was like what in the world he was like well you told me not to trust you <laughs> y'all but now it's gotten to a point where I think he kind of is catching on. And so he lives for when I tell him, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on you. Every single time I, I see him, I make a point to tell him, I'm going to keep my eye on you because um, I don't know what you got going on or whatever. I mean, but I, you know, I keep it light. But at the same time, you know, I, I, you know, I make sure he cool that he, you know, is okay. Work has been going fine for him. He told me he's been okay. And I told him, I was like, oh, I tried to find you the other day, that day that I actually had to come in on, child. I don't remember if I said it in this video or not, but they had me come in on my day off during the witching hour, child. I had to drive. I had to drive to work during the witching hour. I don't play that. I don't like being out on the road during the witching hour. Now, if you don't know what the witching hour is or you don't believe in it, I understand. I ain't trying to let y'all you know subtly know that i'm a witch or nothing like that that ain't what's going on here it's just that once i heard about this terminology being used to describe that time i was like you know what a whole lot of stuff really do happen during that time there have been so many unexplained accidents and deaths that have happened during that time to some of our favorite people who we will never see in life again it's been ridiculous and it all happened during the witching hour so anyway i was looking for him that day because i had to come in for four hours they had him stay over and it was just too much stuff going on but anyway y'all i saw him it was a good you know a good little moment and I, everybody it's like people are always around when we having our little moment i just be like y'all can hate 
But I'm going to let y'all know if he ever roll up like that and try to ask me out on a date. But anyway, I'll be back with part two.